हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलम्पेड एलजबरा प्रॉब्लम सो हियर वी हैव एक्स प्लस वाई इक्वल्स टू नाइन एंड एक्स वाई इक्वल्स टू एटी वन एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स एंड वाई सो हियर फर्स्ट वी वी कॉल दिस इज आवर इक्वेजन नंबर वन एंड वी कॉल दिस इज आवर इक्वेजन नंबर टू सो नो हेयर वी नीड टू फोकस ऑन इक्वेजन नंबर वन सो दैट फ्राम इक्वेजन नंबर वन वी हैव here we need to move this x to the right hand side and we get the value of y equals to 9 minus x and we call this is our equation number 3 so here uh, in the next step uh, uh, we need uh, or we use this equation number 3 into equation number 2 so that our equation number 2 is implies that this is xy equals to 81 and the value of y is 9 minus x equals to 81 and further we need to multiply this x on both of these terms and it will be written as 9x minus x square equals to 81 so further uh, you see here this equation will become quadratic in x variable and now uh, we need uh, to write this into the standard form so we move these two values to the right hand side so when we move this minus x square to the right hand side it will becomes plus x square this plus 9x equals to minus 9x and this is equals to uh, sorry this is plus 81 equals to 0 okay so this equation will become quadratic in x variable and now we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this equation so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 9 and c equals to 81 and here uh, we write the uh, quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, ma, uh, square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so now we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this formula and uh, after substituting the values of a b and c it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is minus 9 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 9 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 81 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is also equals to 1 so further you see here this is minus times of minus becomes plus 9 and plus minus square root of this minus 9 square equals to 81 and 4 times of 81 equals to 324 and it is divided by 2 and now after that if we need to subtract uh, 81 minus 324 so when you subtract these two values then you get minus 243 and it is divided by 2 So further we need to focus on this radical term so uh, we write it as 9 plus minus we break this radical on this term and negative term as well so we write it as 200 square root of 243 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 okay so we have x is equals to this is 9 plus minus this is 243 and we write 243 as 81 multiplied by 3 we know that 81 times of 3 becomes 243 and um, we also know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so after this step here we need to uh, uh, we need to uh, separate this square root on both of these terms so it will be written as x is equals to 9 plus minus square root of 81 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 okay so uh, after this step here uh, we know that the square root of 81 uh, is equals to 9 into this is square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2 so this is the two values of x and now here we need to find the corresponding values of y so that we in order to find the values of y we need equation number 3 so from equation number 3 we have now we copy down equation number 3 and it is y equals to 9 minus x okay this is our equation number 3 uh, so further uh, we have 
uh, further we rewrite it as y equals to 9 minus x and this implies that uh, we move we put these two values of x here so here we write the positive value x equals to 9 plus 9 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and here we write it as 9 minus 9 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 okay so now we need to substitute these two values of uh, uh, x uh, in equation number 3 or this equation and we get the corresponding values of y so here we have y equals to 9 minus x and 9 minus the value of x is this 9 plus 9 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2. So here we need to take the LCM of this term. So its LCM is 2 9 is 18 minus. Here you cancelled these two terms and now we multiply this negative sign on both of these terms and it will be written as minus 9 minus 9 into square root of 3 iota okay so further we need to simplify the terms and we have 18 minus 9 becomes 9 minus 9 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this okay so similarly we need to solve the parallel equation so here we have the second value of x is this now we put this value of x here and we get the value of y and we have y equals to 9 minus x the value of x is 9 minus 9 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2 okay so further uh, here we need to take the lcm of this term so again the lcm of this term is 2 and you have 2 9s are 18 minus this 2 and 2 are cancelled by each other and this we multiply this negative sign in both of these terms it will be written as minus 9 plus 9 into square root of 3 iota okay so here we need more simplifications and we write it as 18 minus 9 is 9 plus 9 times of square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. So, this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this. Okay. So, finally, we have the two solutions of the given equation are the first solution is x1 and y1 equals to uh, the value of x1 is 9 plus 9 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2. The value of y is 9 minus 9 into square root of 3 iota and it is divided by 2. This is the first solution and similarly the second solution is x2 and y2 equals to the value of x2 is 9 minus 9 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2 and the value of y2 is 9 plus 9 into square root of 3 iota divided by 2. So these are the two final solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.